All right, <laughs> next we're going to talk about non-rebreather masks. So your non-rebreather mask should come packaged. Just make sure you have the adult. Um, some of the pediatric uh, bagging looks very similar. And then it, you'll, it should be concealed. You should have your oxygen tubing, your mask, and your reservoir bag. This is for patients who may require a little bit more oxygen. Thank you. <clears throat> So this will deliver 90 to 100% oxygen flow. Um, we do wanna set our oxygen to 10 to 15 liters for this. Um, I usually just go ahead and put it up to 15 liters. And you should have the covers on both sides covering the port. Um, one of them fell off as I opened the package, so that's what fell off there. But there should be uh, two ports covering that, making it a true non-rebreather mask. That just means that they can't um, get any of the ambient air mixing in. You're going to connect your oxygen to the oxygen tank. You want to make sure your tank is on and then you're going to set your flow meter to 15 liters per minute. Now before you actually put this on your patient, you want to make sure the reservoir bag is full because this is what they'll be inhaling. So we want to make sure they have air to inhale. A quick way to do this is I put my gloved finger over the port on the top so the bag fills faster and it must be filled before you put it on your patient. When you put this on you're going to put it over their nose and mouth. The straps will go behind their ears and then I just try to make this as comfortable as possible for the patient by putting it over their nose. That's it.